Hello and welcome to this video from Client Engager. In this video today, I am going to take you through a sneak peek of a huge upgrade that's about to come into our deadlines page in Client Engager. So let's roll the credits and have a look at what's about to happen. Hello and welcome to this video from Client Engager. As I said in the intro, today I'm going to give you a sneak peek of an upgrade that's coming to the deadline board in Client Engager. What we've been trying to do with Client Engager is improve the user experience and the interface. And one of the big areas we wanted to make it really clear, clean and obvious what needs doing is the Kanban board. It's one of our most loved features in deadlines is the Kanban board. Our users absolutely love how easy it is to filter, structure the data they need to look at, and we wanted to make it even better. We wanted to give the user the power to incorporate the data that they want in that Kanban board. We wanted to make it more bolder and cleaner and easier to see straight away what's overdue, what's coming up soon, and what's okay for now. So let's have a look at Client Engager, and let's have a look at what we've done in the next for the next upgrade that's going to come out to you in the next 10 to 14 days around the 24th of April depending okay we're in client engager here we go so ready for the big reveal I will click on deadlines I'm going to go to all jobs and look at that cleaner bolder brighter so what have we done well first of all we've got better colors. We've got rid of the pastel colors and we're giving you clear, definitive colors. Red is now overdue. Green is okay. So if I get due soon and amber due very soon, you can see the contrast. So red, overdue. These are de need dealing with imminently. We've then got amber. These are coming up soon. These are the next tasks to look at. We've then got yellow, which will give us warning that something's coming up again soon but it's not immediate and then we've got green giving us signal that there's plenty of time to deal with it okay so i've set this out by staff member just to give you a contrast of those colors this is really really clear and easy to use and we're really excited by this what you've now got is an option up here to dis decide the card layout for yourself so we've got a few bits here you can make this each kanban box as insightful and powerful as the old Kanbans or you can make it as minimal as you want. So you can have as cleaner or as populated information screen as you want it to have. You'll notice here we've got one called Featured Item. This is this bit of the Kanban box, okay? So we can choose Fee, Checklist Percentage, so you can see the progress of a checklist. So if I go into this service here, I'll click on my checklist and I'll click to say yes I've done a few of these jobs so that's saying 23% if I now go onto my Kanban board you can see I'm 23% of the way through on this job so we can look at the status of our checklist we can look at the fee or we can look at the staff member and we put the initials of who's responsible for this job here on top of that you can still have your status if you want to have that you can still have your fee, even if the feature box is different. Still have your checklist. You can still have the check-in date, the current phase and staff member, and the MTD status. What you'll also notice is we've got a new logo. Up here, there's a little clock. That indicates it's waiting for someone to complete this task before the next person can do it. So I'm hovering over, it's saying it's waiting for Helen Brown to complete the next phase of this task. So that gives us an insight just by hovering over who is this task waiting on. You can also see the task that is in question, the service that we're looking at, limited company accounts. You'll notice here there's a dash, that's because this is a task. This hasn't been a service, it's been set up as a task. Now what about when we have an internal deadline? So if I click on here, the strategy deadlines are 30th of September. I'm going to change this to the 3rd of May and I'm going to close that. And what you'll notice is the statutory deadline 
is here, but now the internal deadline is at the bottom here, and that's in 22 days time. So instead of giving you a date, it's counting down the days so you can see the imminent dates of things that need to be done. So this job here, 11 days until the internal deadline. Four, uh, six days to go until this task is due. This was due yesterday. Sorry, this was six days ago. This was due yesterday. This one's due in 26 days. It's clear, it's clean, you can see exactly what's due when. And you can work according to the deadlines and getting rid of all those red ones first. And remember to set the warning colors for these, you need to go to the service settings, click on the service you want to edit, and you tell the system when it goes yellow and when to go orange. So due very soon, due soon. And you do that for each phase and then the Kanban board will reflect those warnings. We've also taken these new colours and applied them to the list view. So you can now see red is overdue, green is fine, amber and orange, green, amber, orange, etc. So the colours are continuing through and we've also brought in the 15 days to go bit here so you can see when it's due.